So, so let me start with you. Yeah. Tell us about Skyway Capital. Yes, uh, Skyway Capital, uh, this is company oh, which is uh, uh, established in uh, Estonia. We had the head office in uh, Belarus, in uh, capital town Minsk. Uh, we are a company uh, which have uh, innovative technology for the transportation. This uh, <clears throat> innovative technology has been uh, created by Mr. Ulitsky. He is uh, our general cons constructor and uh, he started develop this technology in 1978. It means uh, we have huge experiences uh, with this technology, more than 40 years. And uh, now uh, we are ready with the technology, uh, put it to the reality, put it in the market, because uh, many, many tests was done, certification process uh, was, was has been uh, finished. It means the technology is ready for the implementation. Uh, big advantage is uh, of our technology is that this is built on the second level. This is the rail uh, system, string rail system, used for uh, transportation uh, of the habitants, the people, and as well transportation for the goods. The speed uh, of our transportation system is uh, for the uh, habitants, for the population is 150 kilometers per hour. We have a high speed system as well. The speed is 500 kilometers per hour. And the speed of the transportation system for the goods, the cargo system is 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, this technology is uh, environmentally friendly because this is fully automated system. Uh, this system can uh, push down the rate of accidents. Of course, it is very safety system and uh, much more cheaper as the other uh, commercial transportation systems. One question that a lot of Nigerians want to find out now from your companies. Does your company have any operational projects at the moment? At the moment, uh, we uh, this system, this technology is operated in Belarusia. We have built our Ecotechno Park. It means this is park uh, of uh, around 38 hectares, where this kind of technology is running. When was done the certification process? Now uh, you uh, need to know that now we uh, finished. The start, now we are finishing step by step the startup phases and now we are ready to put this technology into the market. We have signed a very interesting contract with uh, Arabian countries. Now uh, Mr. Unitsky focusing uh, on this part of world because last month we started to build our uh, uh, technology, our new Ecotechno Park in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we started beginning of next year uh, build this technology in Switzerland, in Europe, and now we are on the finishing with the negotiation in the Vietnam, and the beginning of next year we start project there too. Good. Mr. Uh, let me come to you. From your, your, your beginning document, what are the major challenges, uh, limitations of transport, modern transport system, especially in the State, like well, the first one is population. Population, the infrastructure in Lagos is being overstretched. Uh, you have more people coming to Lagos as a result of seeking greener pasture. Uh, the infrastructure in Lagos is not growing as rapid as the population. And uh, because of the fact that uh, successive administration in the country have not been able to put uh, enough infrastructure on ground, uh, the resources in Lagos is not enough to cope with the infrastructural needs. Uh, that perhaps that is why a lot of people are calling for uh, the restructuring, the restructuring of the Nigerian uh, state, so that state can control its resource. But in this uh, term, I think I will want to commend the uh, the investor 
that owns the technology uh, for the benefit to choose Nigeria as, as, a, as a partner to establish this technology considering our peculiar nature. Uh, the technology runs on energy and it produces its own energy to run. Uh, with invertly, we reduce cost of transportation. It provides and creates uh, clean energy. Uh, a lot of uh, transportation uh, systems in, in Nigeria are run with either petrol or diesel. And this scale up the cost of, of transportation itself. But when you have a system that creates its own energy and drives that system, it reduces the cost of energy, particularly when it is a clean energy through the motorized uh, system that drives it and uh, produces a force that creates that energy that propels it. Now, the, the quantum of energy that is produced, that is not used, can also be used to power uh, electrification around communities, uh, which can either drive the street lightings or drive establishment infrastructure like yours, and public utilities, and it can also be used for securing a lot of our perimeters, particularly along the petroleum pipeline area where human activities are not uh, visible and that helps or aid vandals to go there and, 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 and vandalize the pipeline. It can also help to, to, to power security cameras to, of course, monitor what is happening in our terrain. It will also boost tourism. You can imagine how our landscape look when you are above it and it, it helps human, uh, human movement at a very shortness of time. So we see it as bringing the future to now. And uh, looking at the population in Lagos, where a lot of people have to use the road and all that, and considering the enormity of danger that is involved when you use uh, the air transport, in Nigeria particularly, we've had a lot of air mishap, we've had a lot of near air mishap. And uh, you must agree with me that in this climb, the safest means of transport is rail. is rail because it is on the ground, the fatality cannot be much compared to what you have on the air or compared to what you have with vehicular accident. With what they are bringing in, the rate of uh, accident is near zero, if not zero. All right. Let, I'll get back to you. Uh, Mr. Solari, what's the essence of this technology? I mean, considering the peculiar situation of Nigeria and as a matter of fact the estimated cost of this project. When we, uh, uh, some calculations was done by our expert and of course uh, we are uh, very happy that many many calculations was done uh, by the experts outside from our company and uh, we know that these calculations is, uh, is, was done very done. Uh, generally, we can say that the, our technology, the investment cost, the capex investment cost, is from three to six times less as investment cost for the other kind of uh, technology. The same situation is with the energy spending. The same situation is with the opex, with the with the cost which need for uh, for. Uh, uh, repairing uh, for maintenance for everything this is there is the huge gap between our cost and between the cost needed for the bus transport system for for the train uh, system and uh, it is uh, why we uh, can offer this uh, this technology I, I don't want to say about the other impacts the the environment impacts uh, to, to the accident rates, impacts uh, for the for the movement that it can be done uh, very easily, very 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 quickly. Uh, generally, uh, we can say uh, when we did the comparison that this is the right number that four five times the cost is less as for the for the other kind of uh, transportation systems. Permit, permit me to get the sense of this. This is like a cable rail system. No, what's this, this how is, does it uh, differ from the the basic of this system is rails. Inside the rails, we have cables, strings, which is uh, put uh, put inside, and the the uh, around the place 
inside these rails there is put a special concrete. It means uh, this rail system needs support, maybe the distance of the support can be 400 meters each support or uh, more. We have technology, we have special rails which needed support for maybe the distance is two kilometers from each other. But it's very uh, useful system, very easy it uh, contracts. It is not cable system, I would like to say. This is rail system and inside the rails are strings which is uh, uh, which is uh, on this uh, construction system is fixed on the one end on the second end and uh, we will not need more support system under this rails. So you, you, you are concerned with this uh, system, uh, this technology. How does it differ from the technologies that now, we have the latest, for example, latest state sign uh, had a project with China uh, some couple of years back. And how does it differ? Now, can you just clarify that for us? The difference is that uh, the components that will be used for the infrastructure, based on new technological advancement, is, is cheaper to concrete, is cheaper to iron, and all of that. And uh, it's slightly not as bogus in terms of size compared to what the, uh, that, uh, that system is bringing. But the beauty about this is that when you look at the population in Lagos, the, the, the motor rail that the government is bringing will not alone be able to serve the purpose. You are going to have a lot of people using that. You are still going to have a lot of people on the ground. So we need to also create